So what's going on guys welcome back to another video into this video we are going to be taking a look at the official android 8.1 oreo update for our oneplus 5 and 5t 5t would get some navigation improvements but for 5 it's just basically the same so i didn't think oneplus would actually be this fast to release this update because literally no companies are actually pushing out android 8.1 unless and until they are running stock android such as nokia so literally hats off to oneplus for this and again it's oxygen os is snappy is fast but there are some ui tweaks over here and there such as adaptive ui wallpaper api which actually doesn't make any sense such as in custom os like miui or oxygen os but as you can see the status bar now turns black which is actually available before but somehow removed in android 8.0 again makes a comeback with 8.1 but then again there is no adaptive ui but still as you can see there is a blue tint over here thanks to this blue c so yeah wallpaper api is still supported but if you noticed one thing the quick setting panel is like almost around three centimeters like literally what the heck even is this this is how it actually should look i seriously don't know what oneplus is actually doing with that oxygen os it might look good on the oneplus 5d but it was actually present in the open beta i didn't think they would actually just keep it like this into the stable version but as you can see the toggles are now white as expected there is nothing added over here so nothing to look at over here and on the left you still get your normal shelf but there must be a membership card as oneplus says but there is nothing like me for over here Going to the apps, as you can see, the icons are now a bit more sharper and they look a bit newer, I guess that's the word. But as you can see, the clock app is now live, just like Samsung and the UI is a bit updated, as you can see over here. Looks pretty cool. Again, the stopwatch UI has been a bit updated. And another thing with the clock, if you set an alarm, it actually uses the wallpaper API. Yes, let me just give you a demo. Going to the clock, let's just set an alarm for right now. As you can see over here, the UI is a bit updated. Again, it uses the wallpaper API. That's why it's purple, like literally purple and bluish. You can't actually make it, but let's just disable it just like that. Alarm off. Looks pretty nice. And then OnePlus have added custom modes for this phone, such as audio and game mode. Now for audio, let's just go to the settings. As you can see, extremely snappy. Going to the display, there is nothing to show you guys. It already has themes, so there is no auto light and dark over here, which is kind of disappointing. But let's just go to sound. Go to audio tuner, it enables when you have earphones plugged in. That actually means they have autoplay added. Just like Samsung phones, if you plug in your earphone, it automatically stops or plays your songs. And then again, they've added notification ring options, which is, I don't know why it was necessary, but still. And those countries who actually have broadcast messages, now you can also view the caller information, which is again great. And then there is the all new game mode. So in order to do that, let's just go to settings again, scrolling down to the advanced. And there you go. On the bottom, you have gaming mode. As you can see, there are tons of options over here, such as you can add apps for gaming mode. Let's just add PUBG, which I really do love to play on this phone. Like literally Snapdragon 835 is just amazing. I can play max settings 60 FPS on this thing. And I mean, thanks to these options, the experience is much more greater. But as you can see, they have added optimization for gaming mode, including power saving and pausing of adaptive brightness, which is again great. And they have actually added a network boost. So games like multiplayer, PUBG mobile or anything that you like, get the lowest ping possible from your phone. Going back, you have more information about system stability, improvement, user experience, one plus notifications, which is kind of good. People should have an idea of these features. Scrolling up, you have pocket mode and stuff. But if you have noticed, unlike the beta, they have actually removed the OnePlus switch over here, which is kind of a bit weird that they had actually announced it with the OnePlus 5T and they said it would be coming with the Android 8.1, but there is nothing like it over here. So if you want to actually switch your phones, you have to actually download and dedicated app. It's no longer integrated into the settings, which is kind of disappointing. I really liked it, just like the Samsung and the Apple phones, but now you have to just download it. And then going to the launcher, as you can see, there is the three dot menu. You can enable quick search. Let's just enable it. Now, if you go here, the apps are now categorized. So actually knows which are the travel, then again, social and your normal shopping apps. So for example, if I go to social, it must be showing me Instagram. Then again, if I have Facebook, which is kind of neat thing, if you have just ton of shit and then going to the about phone, oxygen version 5.1.0. Again, the latest and the greatest and version 8.1.0. There you go. There is the newer Easter egg. Pretty nice touch. And that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching. This was a quick little video of the Android 8.1 Oreo update on our OnePlus 5 and 5T. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more OnePlus videos, please subscribe down there. And if you want to check out my travel video which OnePlus didn't actually give us, please tap the i button over here and see you in the next one. Peace.